Hello and welcome to our first interview of the year with Data Migration International. My name is Lindsay Alessi and I'm a freelance technology journalist and I'm here today with Tobias Eberle, who's the Chief Revenue Officer at Data Migration International. Tobias, today we'd like to take a look back at 2020 and also hear how 2021 is shaping up for Data Migration International. Obviously, 2020 has been quite a year on many levels. Um, how was the year for Data Migration International? What was driving the business? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good question. Uh, so 2020 was really, a, I would say, a very challenging uh, a year for, for all of us from a business point of view, but also from a, a personal point of view. Uh, so the companies are really suffering with the, the COVID crisis at the moment, uh, looking sometimes desperately for, for cost saving. Uh, uh, but the other, uh, we also see other companies, they are now uh, forcing the digital transformation uh, uh, very hard uh, in order to, to, uh, to use the, the crisis to, to get more uh, revenue shares or in, 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 uh, expand their business in in the digital uh, in the digital uh, format, no? which is uh, which is at the moment I think the, the the biggest challenge for for most of the traditional companies where they are coming from from businesses which uh, which were uh, in place since a long time, but now they have to change. They have to move in a in a in a digital uh, way, and and what we also see is. Uh, um, uh, compliance topics, uh, they have not stopped in the crisis, so companies are really forced to meet uh, reg regulations such as GDPR, and, and you cannot say, oh, well, I'm sorry, we are at the moment in the crisis, I, I don't care, so companies, they have to care, and they, we, we, we really see that, that projects coming up more and more, and uh, this is also what makes us promising or, or, or promising for, for this year because all of these these uh, activities or challenges they have not stopped uh, this year in the opposite they are more uh, uh, companies are more active in, in these areas and don't forget uh, the, the the merchant acquisition area which uh, we, where we see more activities coming coming up uh, in the in the future excuse me yeah, it's certainly a challenging year um, and businesses are facing increasing pressure from all sides. How can um, data migration help businesses to overcome these challenges? Yeah, first of all, we, uh, we, we can, uh, let's say, put the, the market into different segments. Some customers are really, as I said, uh, desperately looking for, for cost savings or in this, uh, for those customers, we have a, a quite uh, interesting offering. It's very something simple to to uh, to streamline the IT legacy systems by by retiring old legacy system and saving a lot of money in in a very short time. That's uh, easy to do, and and uh, uh, you can achieve the results in a very short time. For for those customers who who are using the the uh, the chance to move into the digital world or, or forcing that activities. Most of them are implementing uh, SAP as for HANA, for example. And for those customers, we, we can also help them to simplify the, uh, the transformation into this, this new world by a simple uh, separation of historical from, from operational data to make those projects faster, reducing the risk and coming up also with uh, a lower cost at the end of the day. And last but not least, uh, for, for companies who are active in the, in the merger and acquisition business, maybe they, they use uh, the, the opportunity to do acquisitions or they divest a uh, business to other companies. They have to, we can say, carve in, carve out relevant data. And for those uh, companies, we have also quite compelling offer 
to accelerate those very complex carve in carve out projects um, which is which is a, a, a hot focus also for for us in the in the current year and what what is our overall objective is to yeah to win new logos new customers and increase the the market share mainly in the in the home markets like germany switzerland and in the us okay and perhaps you can expand a little um about how data migration international's approach is actually different from more traditional methods of decommissioning systems yeah uh, that's a good question so uh with with our experience from all over 24 years now we have uh, developed really a, a unique uh, software which is called the, the information management platform and what what makes us unique first of all we have to, we have to uh, operate with data and what we can do very with a push of a button we can transfer data from all kind of different sources to our platform and once the, the data is on our platform we can uh, we can manage the data or operate with the data by using we call it business objects and this is also some some unique thing because uh, this allows us to immediately have access to the data for example to analyze the data or to identify data which you want to carve out uh, for example or which you want to migrate or um, or data which has to be uh, just uh, preserved over the, the next decades. No? So, and, and this, this uh, business objects really helps to accelerate those, those, uh, those filtering criteria, those filtering activities and selecting the right data in a, in a very simple way. And that, that helps at the end of the day to shorten project timelines uh, significantly just to give you an idea, we have uh, uh, performed a project, uh, a carve out. It was a complex carve out project and it, it took us just six weeks. No? And, and so that, that shows very nicely how, how uh, efficient we can, we can do this. And not to forget again, the, the GDPR challenge. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, many, many companies, especially in Europe, but we see that also in, in other uh, markets like the, the US, uh, they are they are more and more uh, forced to to implement solutions to manage the entire data lifecycle, but also to uh, ensure that personal data can be deleted and the data are securely kept over over the time. And all this comes together or comes with the chips information management platform and that that makes us unique because we have a, a wide range of use cases we support with uh, with a unique technology behind yeah, i can see how this would really help to increase and, and accelerate the time to value for your customers and is this um the tool you're talking about the givs imp is this something that can be used across all industries Yes, for sure. Yeah. So the, the solution or software is, is made really for all, all, all industries, all, all countries or continents. So there is no limitations. Uh, uh, yes, we, we see some, some uh, businesses like manufacturing, which are heavily using SAP as a, as a, as a focus uh, industry. We see uh, the financial service industry also um, looking for for cost savings, uh, this is uh, another focus. But also the food industry is quite interesting uh, in in the U.S. Um, they they uh, they are they are performing very well and, and using also the time to optimize their business, doing the digital transformation. But also looking for for cost savings on the other side. No? And and uh, so uh, again, there is there is no real focus on, on uh, specific industries in uh, we are supporting all industries with, with our product. Okay, well this is certainly good to hear and again welcome news 
for Data Migration International's customers. Um, so thank you for joining us today, Tobias, and we look forward to hearing more from Data Migration International in the coming months. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, too.